The auditorium of the Ontario Institute for Studies and Education was host to a meeting for faculty and student members concerned with the current status of education in Ontario. From coast to coast, there hasn't been a day in this last year when there have not been significant sections of the pop working population, no matter which sector you talk about, or students or whatever, who haven't been fighting to put their issues on the table. There's not been a day. Those on the panel range from educators to union leaders and members of student advocacy groups. The struggles being faced in Ontario's post-secondary education system were the focus of the evening. Ryerson faculty member John Shields says the provincial government's current plan of action just isn't working. Here, some four years or so of austerity-driven government budgeting and policy making, the evidence indicates that it has been a universal failure in terms of improving economic growth, which is supposed to be its ultimate aim. Chairperson of the Canadian Federation of Students Ontario, Sarah Jane King, broke down the financial woes of the average Ontario student. Ontario has the highest tuition costs in the country. These fees have increased upwards of 71% in the past six years. This leaves many students in staggering debt, with an estimated $2.6 billion being owed to the province. Coupled with the worst job market for youth since the 1930s, students are facing a bleak future. But Vice President of U of T's External Affairs, Luc Tremblay, says they will continue to work together and devise ways to better the province's education system. Where we plan to go in from here is uh, definitely to use some of the information that some of our panelists have shared and also some of the members of the public that have shared with us uh, to better strategize in presenting uh, how we could uh, find ways to improve the quality of higher education within this context of uh, government austerity. Those interested in the issues are encouraged to get involved in their school communities. For more information, you can visit the Facebook page of Toronto University Students, Staff and Faculty United Against Austerity. Victoria Kuros, Humber News.